So there are a few other staple mon that are common across the games that I didn't cover in my Route 1 mons video, such as original fish, turtle, fossils, etc. So let's cover them now! Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you are so inclined, you can become a member so you can show some extra support to the channel and get some awesome perks. One more thing I need to clarify before we begin. In our last Cornera video on the gimmick of the region, I introduced the sound type, but neglected to show its type effectiveness, so here's that. Also, Genos forms are a permanent change. I assumed that would be clear considering nucleotypes bond with the Pokemon's DNA, but I guess it wasn't. Anyway, let's talk fake bond, shall we? Who likes fish? I do! In another attempt to have a unique Pokemon, I was inspired to make a water fire type fish Pokemon based on the sunfish. No, no, not that sunfish, this one! The orange spotted sunfish. These little spots reminded me of little suns. Sunspots, if you will. So without further ado, here is Pisun. Its name is a mixture of Piscine slash Pisces and sun. You can see now it has literal sunspots on its side. So I will warn you, this evolution is a little out there. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here is Amaterishu. Wait, hold the presses. A Japanese-inspired mon in a US base region. That doesn't make any sock throw, Darumaka, Domenitan, Muna, Masharna, and Hydreigon. Anyway, I think you get my point. So this guy is inspired by Kabuki and the Rising Sun flag from Japan. The reason behind this is I based Amaterishu on the orange spotted sunfish, but also the green sunfish. These fish both have these markings on their face that reminded me of Kumadori, which is the stage makeup Kabuki performers use. The sides of the green sunfish also reminded me of rays of sunlight. So I figured it's a sunfish, so why not go with themes from the land of the rising sun? It even has a literal sunrise as its dorsal fin. It is said that Amaterishu will lead schools of Pison around Cornera, and everywhere they decide to rest becomes a hot spring for the day. Their true home is in Vulcan Springs, though. So while I was still creating the region, a follower pointed out to me that apparently a regional turtle is a thing? So, I made one. Here is Tortaus. This little ground type is based on the ornate box turtle and adobe houses, which you can find all over the Four Corners area. Its shell acts as a home for smaller Pokemon who are worn out from traveling. Tortaus evolves into Torturous. This guy is huge. Its back can actually carry human passengers, and has helped travelers who have lost their way in the desert. Turtle taxi, anyone? It is now groundwater type, and its back is based on adobe fortresses and castles. Next up is the ever infamous Pika clone. So let's get right into it. This is Denkibi. Its name is a mixture of Denki, which means electricity, and Chibi, meaning small. It is electric sound type, and is based on field mice and speakers. So I decided to do something that some might find controversial. I gave my Pika clone an evolution. I know, it breaks the formula. But I always found the lack of evolutions for Pika clones to be dumb. If more of them had evolutions, they would actually be useful. With that said, here is Denki Rai. It is a mixture of Denki and Rai, meaning thunder. But also, Kirai means hate, which I found funny because this thing is so cute, to have hate in its name just seems ironic. It now has a speaker on its tail as well, and uses it to amplify sound moves. Next we have a trend that is apparently also a thing. The Grass Fairy Psychic Waifu. There have been a few in past generations like Serena, Hatterene, Florgis, and Gardevoir. So, I actually made two, but for a good reason. Meet Cherbloom and Cher Doom. These are nucleotype evolutions of Cherum, depending if you give Cherum a nucleotype during the day or at night. They are based on kimonos and the Japanese words for cute and scary. So Cherbloom represents kawaii, meaning cute, and is based on the use of kimonos in kawaii culture. Cher Doom represents kawaii, meaning scary, and is based on a more traditional kimono usage. Finally, the fossils. Almost every region has them. Looking at you, Gen 2 and 7. You love them, and so do I, so let's show them. Here are the wood fossil and the flute fossil. And when you revive them, they become Petrunk and Pickling. So like I said in the last video, nucleotypes can give fossils back their original typings. So in Cornera, when reviving the fossil, it will be revived with its original typing. With that being said, Petrunk is pure grass type and Pickling is pure sound type. Petrunk is based on petrified wood and Ankylosaurus. And Pickling is based on woodwind instruments and a baby Sonorosaurus. So now for their evolutions. Meet Petrodon and Basaurus. 
Petrodon is now Grass Steel type and is now also part Stegosaurus. It uses its sharp plates on its back to ward off enemies from above. Basaurus remains pure sound type. It can create music from its body that it uses to lead herds of pickling. One more thing, there is actually a third fossil, but it's not ready yet, so I will save it for a future video. Anyway, that's the rest of the staple Pokemon. What do you think, and which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with the Cornera region. And be sure to go follow all of the artists that make Cornera possible. They will be linked in the description down below. With that, I will see you guys next time.